is not the holidays without the Tabernacle Choir singing us into the Christmas spirit. And this season they are celebrating their 20th year with an all-star special narrated by Tony Winner and Broadway legend Brian Stokes Mitchell. And he joins us now. Good to see you. Good Welcome back. Good to see you, Sarah. It's nice to see you in three dimensions. I know. And we've talked about you so much during the pandemic, and oh. I'm happy that you're here with us today. But So this is not the first time that you have performed with the choir for a Christmas special. Uh, so tell us a little bit about this and being back on stage. You're back with the choir again, with the orchestra behind you. Yeah, I started with them, I think the first concert was maybe 15 years ago, and I performed with them a number of times. It's one of the most magical experiences ever because it's just like pure joy it coming is. from you. And if you watch the show, I think this is why it's PBS's top-rated holiday show every single year. Yeah. Because if you just want to feel good, and yep. man, do we need to feel good these days? Yes. You know, it's a it's a, a show that you can watch and just kind of get reconnected to your joy space, your happy place you get put in plugged 100%. into that holiday spirit yeah um, but it's it's just a, it's an amazing amazing show I, I was so happy I got to uh, to host it this year and what's different about this year as you said it's a 20-year retrospective yeah, of what's yeah. been going on so I get to kind of give the audience a tour of the backstage Love and that. see clips of the last 20 years it's like the best highlights reel it's the ever. best of the best it is I have to say I've, um, I've seen the show so many times this is my favorite show, and yeah. I, I would say yeah. that even if I weren't if I weren't hosting it, it yeah. really is amazing. The highlights that I just watching the, uh, the the clips that they were sending me were bringing me to tears. I'm embarrassed to say, happy tears. Happy tears, <laughs> yeah. And it, it, like you said, it's kind of the best of the best. You see everybody from the past uh, 20 years or so. But I mean, there are 40 amazing guest stars. I mean, I'm talking Grammy winners, Oscar winners, Tony winners. Give us a little sneak peek. Like, give us a name drop for us. Tell oh, us name drop. Let's it. see. Uh, Audra McDonald, uh, Renee Fleming, Walter Cronkite. Be a lot of people that are no longer with us. Tom Brokaw, um, uh, Natalie Cole, Gladys Knight. Uh, oh, man, there's so many. Uh, uh, Renee Fleming, uh, Bryn Terfel. I mean, somebody from kind of David Archuleta, yeah. pop, rock, uh, um, uh, Opera, theater, all over the musical you, spectrum. You'll see if you if you, there's somebody you like, a music form you like, you'll see him on this show. I love that, and you you've actually put this together during the pandemic. Yeah. Right. So, what was that whole process like, and what was it like just to be back on the stage? with the orchestra behind you, with it was a virtual choir with you. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, it's interesting because most of the time it was just kind of a skeleton crew that was a skeleton crew of probably 20, 30, 40 people, you right. know, television crew that were shooting it, but we were in this 23,000 seat auditorium, I think it is, um, with nobody in it. And it was kind of a, a bittersweet um, a moment when I first walked out on the stage seeing that empty theater because that's normal when we would be rehearsing it but yeah. also there would be a choir on the stage ready to rehearse the orchestra there and we didn't have either it was totally empty so that's uh, I, I got to get this backstage tour of all yeah. of the things that were were uh, that you normally don't get to see but we actually only have the orchestra there for one particular number. There's three new numbers that you will be seen as well in, yeah. in the show. And it was the first time the orchestra had gathered since the pandemic started. And then the choir is assembled virtually by the magic of editing. Oh my God, we did so many things virtually this year that, you know, it, I, that was kind of a bonus just to see how we could re you know reimagine how these things can come together and I love that but you know I want to talk about you know obviously you're you have such a huge part of Broadway in, in New York and you're a major part of the Actors Fund tell me about the the giving machines that we're seeing because I just walked by one yesterday in Rockefeller Center yeah there is and I got to tell you I just found out that the, that giving machine those there's three of them there uh, at Rockefeller Center they to date they have made more money than all of last year um, which is really really incredible it's this genius idea basically um, you can you can go by these giving machines and there are a number of charities one of them is my charity the actors fund which yep. helps anybody in show business in times of need or transition yep. there's been a lot of need mm -hmm. um, you can you can put a credit card in there and give uh, give a meal you can give a, a, a cow to somebody on another charity or, or fresh water on on all these different charities it's it. just a really brilliant way because I don't know about you but we're still kind of dealing with this pandemic getting through everything and we're still kind of feeling a little rocky road. Yeah. If you want to feel good, I find do something nice for somebody else. Do something else. nice, yeah. Um, I also just want to mention 
the program crossovers live. Yeah. Tell me what's going on with that. Oh, I get to be you. I get to be I a host. I know, I know, I yeah. love it. It's a host, it's a, it's, a, it's a show that streams on Stellar. We've had a bunch of really incredible people that are crossover artists. They go from television to film, to Broadway to recording. Um, Audra McDonald and Ariana DeBose are coming up, who's going to be appearing in the West Side Story. Yep. David Hyde Pierce has been on. Kristen Chenoweth has been on. It's a who's uh, who of Broadway. It is, yeah. Vanessa Williams. And we just sit and talk about, it's the kind of conversation that we would have if we were sitting in a green room or yeah, sitting at each yeah. other's home. And they're very intimate and fun and we go riffing off in five million different directions I and it's on it. stellar.com amazing i'm going to listen to that and you can catch 20 years of christmas with the tabernacle choir monday december 13th at 8 p.m on pbs pbs.org and on the pbs video app and on thursday december 16th at 9 p.m on byu tv byu.org and the free byu tv app brian it's so good to see you so Thanks good to so see much. you so